music, reality, sometimes it's hard to tell the difference, but we as entertainers have a responsibility to these kids. Sorry. If I were to die murdered in cold blood tomorrow, would you feel so much so love? Would you better? Could never be the leader of better? So, as you can see from the statistics, knife crime's not as big as an epidemic as we are told. I'm gonna go now traveling around the country interviewing DJs, musicians, and arts managers alike to see what they think about the whole issue, what we can do, and if music is an influence. So these kids don't end up like my mate over here. Shall we? Six million ways to die, choose one. It's time to escape, but I don't know where the fuck I'm headed. Up or down, right and left, like what's dead. I see my Okay, so let's find out what politicians think about the whole knife crime issue with music. David Cameron said, hang on, let's find a bit of a better location to do this, okay? Let's go. Yeah, uh. I bet you know what I left you hanging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet Trevor's you know what I left you hanging. Long overdue, baby. I bet you know what I left you hanging. Bringing you the best in hardcore hip-hop. Yeah, uh, yo, it's the dawn of rap, sipping cognac, hit you on the back with the Mac, clack, clack, slip you in the cardiac. Uh, it's the art of rap at the illest form, from a killer's point of view, who thrives off the envy of jealous ones. You can tell a song from my introduction, hopping in conjunction with killing something when you was barely dumping. You ain't even nothing to worry about, I flurry your mouth with about 30 right, right in front of your house. Then I'm hurrying out in the expedition, professional hitman, the vegetable shit from incredible distance, try to ruse this listen. To my conversation, taping all the songs I'm making, shaking down every ounce of my congregation. John Blazing, raising the stakes, changing your fate, tied up in my basement with forgetting your face. So I've come now to Westminster to talk about what politicians think about the whole knife crime issue. Firstly, David Cameron, he's attacked the music industry by saying he thinks that hip hop and urban music is to blame for the increase in knife violence. He also quoted Artists, radio stations and the music industry have a responsibility and a great opportunity to act as positive role models for young people. He also said artists can influence young people much more than politicians can. Another minister to get involved in the whole knife crime debate was uh, Mr David Blunkett. He said that artists lyrics are appalling and should be curbed. Basically saying that artist managers should censor their artists to get rid of all these violent lyrics. Finally, former culture minister Kim Howes, she said rappers are creating a culture where killing is almost a fashion accessory. Okay, let's go find out other stuff, eh? So it's clear politicians have an issue with the music industry. Let's see what the music industry thinks. Okay then, now I'm going to interview different members of the music industry community. Firstly, a DJ in Liverpool. Next, I will interview a musician. And finally, I will be talking to an events manager. Let's see what, in their opinion, affect the music industry as a knife crime and their thoughts on arts managers and involvement. Let's go. Okay, I've come today to interview Mo. He's a, a DJ in Liverpool and I just want to see what he thinks about the whole issue. If you can give me any pointers to finding my answer. Okay. In my time as a DJ, I have seen instances where certain types of music have kind of turned the atmosphere a little darker. I mean, my manager, uh, one of the bars I play at, is always very conscious of it. I mean, he would never tell me what to play, thankfully. But he has also, in the past, said uh, you might want to, you know, tone it down a little bit. Playing some kind of more aggressive style hip hop or drum bass at that point could have a, a negative influence. So you've got to take that into consideration. These people are profiting from uh, almost misery, you could say. Okay, I've come down to visit a guy called Jim Fitzpatrick. He's a musician on the Liverpool band scene. As a musician, he has a part to play in this whole issue. Let's go see what he thinks. Um, okay, I'm here with Jim Fitzpatrick. Hello. He's a musician. Um, 
just go ask him a few questions, okay? Yeah, it needs to be addressed. Um, because, why? Um, well, yeah, because a lot of people suffer from it, and there's plenty of people that will tell you how bad it is, and they've come from different backgrounds to what I have. Um, I think other people probably have been more affected than I have, but um, I honestly don't know if it's as bad as it's reported or if it maybe it's worse. Okay. Yeah, I guess it can bring out the worst in people as well. And it's yeah, music can make you angry, and when you're sad or you're upset, and sometimes the worst thing you do is listen to sad stuff. It just makes you feel even worse. But I guess that's like the misery loves misery thing. Yeah. Victims of or just like scapegoats things because I and I think in the eighties and the late seventies like metalheads were seen as a big threat and they were always like in films in the eighties and things like that. Mm. A lot of my memories of films like that is like the punks and, and the bad guys things like like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles all the bad guys and that were known as punks and things like that. My next interview is with Matt Stolworthy, an arts manager in London. Instead of running back to London like last time. I'm going to use a more effective mode of transport. Okay, this is Matt. Okay, Matt's in a band in South London doing the whole circuit at the moment. Matt's also an events organiser. He put on a big show for anti-knife crime. And I'm um, just going to have a quick chat with him, see what he thinks about the whole issue. Okay, firstly, Matt, uh, do you feel knife crime is as bad as we're told? Yeah. Um, I think it's probably worse than what we're told. I think at first, it started happening a lot more. Um, it was in the front of the paper every day and things like that, but now, um, recently found out that they don't even cover 80% of what happens with knife crime on the streets of London anymore. Totally. Um, anyone in the public eye is a role model, regardless of what they do. Um, they have a responsibility to, you know, if you're going to make violent negative music then you're gonna bring a kind of reaction so I think you should people should try and be more positive and you know it's just horrible okay then so politics blames music members of the music industry realize their responsibilities to tackle knife crime but is enough being done Let's see what other industries do to confront this reoccurring tragic headline. <laughs>